Hello, and welcome back to the Mythic SMP. This is Season 1, Episode 25. We are a quarter way to 100 episodes, and that's really cool. Um, but yeah, so today we're going to start work on the Guardian Farm, and I'm also going to be building a Trident Shop, and also a Conduit Shop, uh, which is pretty cool. So uh, with that being said, let's get straight into today's episode. Alright, so I'm here on my testing world and this is the design that I've come up with for the Trident shop and uh, you'll see this little 2x2 two two down here and this is actually going to be a little piston, uh, you know, door thing, I lost the words there. Uh, I built it over here, it's a very simple design. I found the double piston extender on Reddit, I really wish I remembered the uh, Reddit user but this is the design that I'm going to be going for and uh, you flick the lever, sand comes up, flick it down, and then the sand drops down, and then you can walk across. And I'm going to hook this up to a T flip-flop, so then you can walk across pressure plates. I think it's going to be pretty cool, and I'm going to go and build it on Mythic now. Alright, over here on Mythic, and this is what we've got. I did a little bit of terraforming. Adept helped me, uh, you know, remove part of this mountain, and then I replaced the uh, floor with some sand and sandstone. However, I think I'm actually going to make the entire island, like this level of the Y, um, whatever, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm going to make all of this to uh, sand, and then it'll be like a little oceany area. I think I'm going to have a underwater ruin above ground, and I'm going to be selling Nautilus shells in there because a few of the other myths uh, said that they wanted to buy Nautilus shells, and so I'm going to be doing that. And then obviously have my little trident thing against this wall and uh, I think it'll be pretty cool so I'm going to start work on it and we've got Mr. Adept here the man himself looking uh, you know he's looking pretty good right now looking pretty good you know he's look, kind of looks like an FBI agent um, but yeah Mr. Uh, Mr. Adept here <laughs> all right anyways I'm gonna start work on gathering up the resources Alright, I just realized that I missed the perfect opportunity to make a joke, um, I already kind of did. Uh, Mr. Adept, you're here to save the president. Um, yeah, that's all I really got. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Um, alright. That, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Alright, so I, uh, did some work on it, and you might have caught a glimpse of it there and there. Um, so pretty much, yeah, this is what I've got. I did a nice little ocean ruin right here, I thought that that would be cool. And I am selling conduits. I went out and explored and I got six Heart of the Seas. Obviously, I need one. Uh, but yeah, so now I'm selling conduits for 20 diamonds. I'm going to need to go and get some blocks, though, because, you know, I can't just sell conduits. I need the full kit. And uh, my trident shop here. Got to do a little bit of work on actually ruining the plaque and, you know, adding the stairs and all the texture. Um, but yeah, look at this. We've got the door. Step on these pressure plates. And then step off, and then the door will drop. Nope, I'm getting too much lag. Okay, there we go. Wasn't as satisfying as I hoped, but I'm getting quite a bit of lag. And this is what I did for the trident area. And uh, yeah, tridents for five diamonds. I think that that's overpriced, but uh, the myths seem to think that that's not overpriced. So that's what I'm going to be selling them for. Tridents are five diamonds. Um, but yeah, so this is the shop. This is what I've got. I'm going to do a little bit of terraforming and uh, then it's done. All right, so uh, this is going to be the design that I'm going to be using for my guardian farm. Uh, I've taken Silent Whisper's design and then I came over here and I got rid of the nether portal because I really don't want to be messing with the nether because obviously Mythic is going to be reset for the nether, uh, but also I don't really need that feature. So I came over here and modified it. So first off, I got rid of the nether portal, and I also got rid of the block swapper to, you know, switch the blocks to uh, get into the nether portal. If you haven't seen the video, go and check it out. I'll leave it in the description. Uh, but yeah, so go and check that out if you don't know how it works already. And then uh, pretty much, I replaced this repeater with an observer to notice the redstone torch, and then it'll come down and activate this uh, dispenser, which has a bucket of water in this. And uh, the reason for that is because obviously I don't want to be lagging the server to the max. So pretty much what happens is when I flick the lever up there, it will actually take the water and undispense it or whatever you want to say. Uh, so then guardians can no longer spawn. And I think that that'll be a very useful feature. I think that a lot of the other myths will be very happy that I have a uh, server friendly way of making it so that I can have a base here. So pretty much... 
what I've got is a system that'll make it so that it's only active when I flick the lever. I don't know if that made sense, it made sense to me, but uh, I'm gonna go back on Mythic and I'm going to start clearing out water! <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go and do that, and, uh, I've got sponges, so it shouldn't take very long, but, um, yeah, so I'm gonna go back on Mythic now. Alright, so I'm here, and I've got a shulker box full of glass, an inventory full of orange dye, and a bunch of sand. The sand is so that I, obviously, I can make the pillars to connect up all of the glass. The orange dye is to make orange glass, because I think that that'll look pretty cool, and, uh, yeah, and then, um... I'm gonna start working on it. Okay, so I have now got the orange ring of glass in, and now I just need to fill in the bottom layer with uh, white concrete, because that's gonna be the color that I'm going with. And so I've got tons here, and then I've also got a couple shulker boxes over there full, and uh, Reeld is helping me. I hired him from Dunder Deeds, or Dirty Deeds, sorry. And uh, yeah, you can see he's going. I'm gonna help him out, and uh, we're gonna get this thing done. Alright, so I'm currently here with Real, and we're still working on it. We uh, put in the floor, so now we've got all the white concrete, and uh, we're currently just doing the waffle pattern to uh, sponge up the area. But uh, yeah, we got his little cam account up there, and uh, it's going along pretty well. I'll see you guys when it's done. Okay, so Real and I finished up the dirty deed. Uh, but yeah, so this is what we've got, and man, this is a lot larger than I thought. Uh, it's a lot larger in survival mode than it is in creative mode, where I can fly around. Um, but yeah, so this is what we've got, and uh, I don't think I'm going to be building the Guardian Farm and all the redstone bits in today's episode, because, quite frankly, not fully ready. I do have the design picked out, but I need to obviously gather up all the resources. Um, but yeah, so now Reeld and I are going to go underneath of the temple and kill all of the Guardians, uh, so then I can get all the spawning spots, and I'm probably going to pick those out as well. Um, but yeah, this is what we've got. Pretty exciting. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Dang, this is a lot bigger than I thought. Alright, so before I head out, uh, I'm thinking I should probably check the profits of my shops. Uh, these have only been up for right around, I believe, it's been about 18 hours. Uh, I still need to do some of the terraforming and I need to finish up actually damaging the plaque like you saw in the testing world with all the stairs and stuff. Uh, I still need to do that, but I think I'm going to check the profits. Uh, so our conduits, we have made one conduit sale, which is pretty nice. I'm also going to uh, have to head out and get some prismarine. I'm also going to have to talk to, I think, Reeld bought this. Uh, I'm going to have to also give him some prismarine so that we can get their conduits all powered up. And uh, there we go. That is, okay, it, it still wasn't very satisfying. <laughs> Um, because of realm leg, but tridents five diamonds I don't think that we sold any tridents at the moment, which does kind of suck However, I can't be expecting to make profits left and right. Um, but yeah, I, I I hate realm leg seriously. This totally works in my testing world and it, it's uh, Whatever <laughs> There's not much I can do about that. Um, but yeah, so that works in my testing world But for some reason it doesn't work on mythic um, but yeah, so that's what we made. Okay, so this is what we've got for the guardian farm at the moment and uh, I'm probably gonna be doing the redstone in uh, The next episode and if not the episode after that I will um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with what we've got this uh, took a right around two maybe three hours so not that much uh, but definitely a grind got help from a uh, reeled and his dirty deed shop um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm dreading marking out the spawning locations uh, Just because that's a lot of counting and it has to be perfect. So uh, Yeah, that's a thing that has to be done, but um, unfortunately that is all the time I have for today And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in The next one. I'm also real skin. Uh, I think I'm wearing a, a soother, or the thing that babies use, I'm, I'm not really sure, um, see ya!